how do you two balance your friendship with your working life? Because I know that you guys, you guys live together, you eat together, you train together, you travel together, you perform social dance, teach together. Like you guys are literally living in each other's pockets. And every time we hang out, uh, <laughs> like we always have such a good time. But <laughs> how do you how do you balance the working life with the personal life? If I'm annoyed of her, I just put it back in my pocket. <laughs> No, I think uh, <laughs> we have to learn uh, to realize for ourselves when we need our free time and then we can tell mm -hmm. the other one. But I think the basement, or the, yeah, the base is that we really like each other. We are very close friends. We mm. can tell each other how we feel without being um, mad on the other one. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it, it's still a process. <laughs> The, the most important day. thing you have to know about Lisa, if she's hot, she needs to pee, she's hungry, or... Oh, th that's it. That's it. That's then it. she... Don't touch her, don't ask her anything, just leave her alone. Yes. Give her something uh -huh. to eat. Um, but in this case, it's, it's better to stay away as far as possible. Uh-huh. This is good advice. Yes. And, what, and what about you, Samuel? Do you have anything when you, you find that you need your own time or space? Yes, sometimes, but um, because of our sleeping schedule, it's a bit different. I go yeah. a bit later to bed. I always have like two or three hours in, in the night where I have, have space for myself. And in the morning, I sleep longer and Lisa has her space. <laughs> yeah, I wake up earlier than Samuel, so I have three to four hours in the morning for myself. So yeah. uh -huh. until now. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Yeah, but it's something new, right? Before we didn't live together, we, yeah. we just were on the weekends and during the day mm -hmm. together. And I could go home to my place, she to her place. So it's the first time now that we live together for longer than one month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so far, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hold up a, a help sign, help. <laughs> but i think you guys you guys have a really good living arrangement because you gave me a quick tour of your house last week when we were talking and and it's like a really big place so you guys have lots of space and there's also a garden so we can just go outside and be for ourselves that's very nice i think it's this is really fun that we have such a big space otherwise if everything is small and close together and you don't have your your own place and um, it will get more difficult so we are very fortunate to to be here and uh, so yeah, i'm a little bit jealous i i want to come and stay there yeah come yes with two summers i'll handle two summers it's no problem for me <laughs> <laughs> i think i think that's why i have uh, a much bigger social media following now because people think that i'm samuel so when I'm in Europe and they see when they when they see me in Europe, they go, "Oh, that's that German guy. He's the really good dancer. He dances with Lisa," and they follow me. So it takes them a while to realize that we're not the same person. Maybe we can take some pictures together, Jay. Yeah, that'd be great. We did it for Fatty's event. We did it for ABCD. Yeah, right. Yeah, the video, right? Hey, my name is someone. I'm someone. <laughs> How do you guys come up with your choreographies? Like, oh. so like, talk us through your process, how you pick a song, how you decide what steps to do where, like how, talk us through your choreography process, how you guys create. I put the gun on the head and said, you have to pick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, no, the most difficult thing is to find a song. Um, uh -huh. um, it's the song yeah. is there's so many shows um on songs which have this part where everyone is like screaming and you as a dancer you have to do nothing then just like yeah now this is the part and then i'm like ah! so if you have have a good song which is versatile which has his ups and downs that's 90 percent of the choreography so we spend mm -hmm. most of the time searching a good song and um if we have a good song, it, it goes like this, the, the choreography, the ideas, they pop up really fast. 
But mm -hmm. how we do it by step, we are uh, in the dance school or in wherever, uh, we put the music and say, okay, uh, how do you feel? What kind of, uh, what part do you want to do today? Then we uh, do a loop in it and we just start to jam a little bit. And it always surprises, it's always surprising us how it works because I'm doing something and someone says, oh, that was cool, but let's do it like this. And then we have already 10 seconds of the show. And uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually very nice how we work together choreographing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we try to do different things on the music. For us, the, the most important thing is that it fits the music. We are not these persons who, who take the song and we count how many eight counts it is until this part. And then we say, okay, turn the music off. We do now eight, eight counts. And then mm. we just fit on the music. No. We always try to do something which fits the music. If there's an instrument um, coming out, um, how does this instrument sound? Um, for example, now in, uh, we, we, we just choreographing um, our boot camp show. We will start on, on Tuesday. Um, there's one part where the trumpets do brrrr, and we do like brrrr. So we try. What is the trumpet doing? <laughs> yeah, can you show again? What is the trumpet doing? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so got it. Always got it. try to do something, something with the music, and um, I think if, if, for example, now the last show we had the Cuban one, we uh -huh. started to choreograph on a different song, and uh -huh. after I think after two weeks, we said, um, I told Lisa, uh, Lisa, I don't think it works. Let's try another song, and I showed her yes, the yes. other song, and I said, I'm gonna cut it until tomorrow, and then we can decide. So I cut the song and the next day uh, we went and start choreographing and we had more after two days than in the two weeks before because we were inspired so much more by the music. So mm -hmm. I think it's really important to, to find the perfect song and a song that inspires you and if it doesn't mm -hmm. work... You, have to, you should change the song. Yeah. Mm. So what would you recommend to people that are trying to create a choreography? How, how would you recommend that they go about finding a song that they like? Where can they search? Mm, the songs come in different ways to us. So one song, for example, I saw it um, using used for another show and I liked mm -hmm. it so much and I put it to summer and he liked it. Then sometimes um, when we go social dancing, we hear a song that we like. Mm -hmm. Um, in playlists on Spotify that we don't know yet. It's very difficult to find a song, I think. Yeah, I mean, the problem mostly is that on socials, they also play kind of different songs mm -hmm. than what you use in shows, because shows usually are a bit faster, um, or they're happening a lot of things, and a lot of mm -hmm. DJs don't play these things because it's too stressful for the yeah. people to dance on them. So mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to find. What I also do because I'm, I'm also teaching is that sometimes when I find a song uh, on a party um, and I'm by it later, I check the whole album or I check recommendations from iTunes, um, mm -hmm. which now became music, not iTunes anymore, which I really hate because this is the most stupid thing ever. <laughs> Apple! <laughs> <laughs> and, but uh, yeah. There are different things. Uh, we also, uh, for example, the song now, Kachita, I bought already two years ago and we went just through my, through my iTunes list and to, through her iTunes list um, uh -huh. and the songs we, we liked. And then we asked Dimitri because the quality was really bad. And we asked Dimitri if he can uh, send us a good quality and, version yeah. of it. Cool. Dimitri is the best, yes. One of the best uh, teachers. Yeah, I, know, <laughs> I know you guys are big fans of him. Uh, yes. There's a question here, and I think it's uh, related more to your how you teach classes. Like, how do you guys divide up who does what in a class when you go and teach workshops? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we do partner work, or footwork, partner work, uh, someone is explaining all the leading, obviously, and I will do. Um, the steps for the girls, the tension stuff, and styling. 
but um, I can also do the leading. So when we go around and check all the couples, um, we both know the part of the other one also. So we mm -hmm. can um, give better tips. Mm -hmm. uh, for work, it depends. Sometimes there's only one microphone and yeah. most of the time someone takes it. I don't know why actually. Do you always say you can take it? Yeah, maybe that's why. That's true, okay. you do say that. I've been in your workshop, she say, oh, we only have one microphone, so I give it to someone. <laughs> yes, I'm so nice. Yes, I'm a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> but if we have two microphones, uh, we divide uh, the footwork into two parts and we will teach it like this. And you should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. if we have one microphone, she still does the warm up or she yes. comes to my microphone and says something. So. Oh, I will scream. Yes, I will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your voice of the, the, yes. the other day. So I, oh, so <laughs> I have to share this with everyone because I think it's really funny. And I do this yes. to Lisa sometimes because I, I think it's really funny. So Lisa has this like infectious laugh. It goes a little bit high. And and if Lisa hears her own laugh, she can't stop laughing. It's it's really funny. So I sent them a voicemail the other day, and it was supposed to uh, create a lot of like drama, so that they were very interested to hear what would happen next. And I sent them like a voice message. Oh, Lisa, you never believe what's just happened. Like I, I just woke up and I was having a coffee, and and then like I'm just watching this thing on TV, and oh my god, it's so incredible. And then I pause and I leave it for a little bit, and then I do Lisa's laugh back into the phone. <laughs> Oh, she's laughing again. Oh. 